It has been documented that Prasugril and Ticagrelor are able to provide effective platelet inhibition two hours after a loading dose. However, the pharmacodynamic measurements after Prasugril and Ticagrelor have been provided by assessing only healthy volunteers or subjects with stable coronary disease, not patients with acute coronary syndromes. Now in Jack, researchers compare the action of Prasugril and Ticagrelor on ST segment elevation MI patients undergoing primary PCI. It's not a large study, only 50 patients with STEMI undergoing PCI with bivalerudin monotherapy were randomized to receive either 60 milligrams of Prasugril or 180 milligrams of Ticagrelor loading doses. Residual platelet reactivity was assessed by Verify Now at baseline and 2, 4, 8, and 12 hours after the loading doses were given. Platelet reactivity units two hours after the loading dose, the study's primary endpoint, were about the same with wide variation in both Prasugril and Ticagrelor groups, satisfying the pre-specified non-inferiority criteria for the study. However, high residual platelet reactivity of more than 240 units was found in 44% of Prasugril patients and an astonishing 60% of Ticagrelor patients at two hours. Even though the p-value is significant between the two groups, I'm not impressed that around half of the patients, regardless of drug given, still had high residual platelet reactivity. The mean time to achieve adequate reduction in platelet reactivity was a long three hours for Prasugril and an even longer five hours in Ticagrelor patients. To add further problems, the independent predictor of high residual platelet reactivity at two hours was morphine use a drug we use a lot in ST segment elevation MI. The authors conclude that in patients with STEMI, Prasugril was non-inferior compared with Ticagrelor. That's a statistical analysis only. Practically speaking, the study points out major issues with these new antiplatelet agents in patients with STEMI. Here's the bottom line. First, two hours after a loading dose of either drug, a wide variability in drug response must be expected in STEMI patients. Second, Platelet reactivity values are higher than those reported for healthy volunteers or subjects with stable coronary disease. Third, half of STEMI patients treated with Prasugril or Ticagrelor show high platelet reactivity after two hours, and at least four hours are required to achieve a sufficient drug effect. And finally, morphine use is associated with the delayed activity of both agents. Sounds to me like we need better antiplatelet drugs in patients with acute ST segment elevation MI. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.